Hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for tech so it's been long time super heroes updates didn't came because developer optimus prime was busy the last update review for os has been created 2 months before but on 3rd of july finally oneplus 60 and 6 development back in the game and our channel's adventures too we got a new update so now it's time to review the update Flashing is simple just flash the update via TWRP and format data if you are coming from the another non retrofit rom today in this video we'll review all the new changes and the features we did the full performance and the UI ban jitter testing in comparison with the old update to check if any improvement we gets in the current update first time we are testing this rom for gaming oriented review where we checked the test sampling rate testing along with the all the new game specs features and the full real life gaming experience by playing the bgm i game finally at the end we discuss some bugs with my final verdict so if you want to know which is the perfect rom with the better gaming experience then please watch the video till the end now with the further ado let's get started on the new adventure Device booted to the Super Hero OS. Today's review is the special review where I reveal at the end do you need to prefer this ROM or others or not. Let's first check out about phone changes. This is the same Android 13 based rebuild. Security patch is updated to the straight June 2023. Old build was on the May 2023 security patches. Build date of this ROM is 1st July while old build was created on 5th May. Current build has the new kernel 4.9.337 Primus built with the Proton Clank 2 n 14.0.6 this is the same kernel user for the old fifth may build the biggest change of this update is its sources it's based on the latest release android 13 qpr 3 beta 3.2 sources while old build was on the qpr 2 sources so definitely you get the lots of new things after upgrade now first check out the performance of the rom in comparison with the old build i want to say everything is very fluid as compared to the old build This is my real user experience nothing is fake when i enable the screen fps meter using the oneplus extra setting first time it's constantly staying near by 60 fps when device is actively in use if we check the old build their screen fps fluctuating between 2 to 52 fps definitely new update has very good performance which is visible as compared to old build today we'll also check the ram management of the rom we will open at least 6 application and then will run the geekbench 6 testing and keep all the applications running in the background after stopping the test we will see how many applications remains in the memory including the geekbench now let's run the geekbench 6 test here we got the score of 564 and 2057 for single and multi core for old build these results were 556 and 1963 so slight improvement has been recorded here for new update Let's run the Geekbench GPU performance testing. Here for OpenGL we got the score of 2261 and for Vulkan score is 1925. For old build these scores were 2017 and 1933. Here again slight improvement has been found for the GPU performance. So definitely new update though shown slight improvement in the numerical scores but in real life it also has very good performance. Now let's open the application that we kept in the background. camera application running in the background google play store also running in the background share me application is running chrome application is in the memory with our channel page clock application is also found in the memory so all the five applications are running in the background during heavy geekbench 6 testing our device has just only 6 gb of ram but this super hero is proved it can manage all the applications in the memory without dropping the performance of the device Now let's check out the UI ban jitter testing. Less the volume, more will be the scrolling, swiping and in-app user experience. Open the application tab on the rendering and then select the jitter. Here I got the constant results below 1 millisecond all the time. Even though I tried to run and use some applications in the background. It's a great improvement as compared to the old build where some heavy fluctuations were found while using some background applications. Let's start the next test called as the touch sampling rate testing. More the volume, more will be the touch input and faster will be the touch response of the device. This is especially useful while playing the games. Open the touch sampling rate application and move the fingers on the screen. 
Here you get the output test sampling rate ranging between 56 to 116 Hz, which is pretty good score, nearly same as the stock Oxon OS. But I will show you the real world touch sampling performance while playing the BGMI. But before that, let's check out some changes I found in the new update. First one is the new back gesture arrow, which I seen in the Android 14. This is a material U themed arrow key, which looks cool. Next in the launcher home setting and under the recents option, who gets the shake to clear all applications feature. Just shake your phone and all the background running application will get skilled and all your memory will be gets free up in a seconds. Who gets some new toggles under the home screen setting of the launcher that is allow short parallax and the single page center related to the home page scrolling. Now let's start the most important part of this video that is gaming features and the performance this ROM offers for any gaming application which I tested using the PGMI. Under the superior lab and under the miscellaneous setting who gets the unlock higher FPS for the game that supports the higher FPS. But BGMI currently only supporting 60 FPS. Still I enable this option in the app drawer or under the apps option of the setting who gets the game space. Here we get the lots of option to play the interference free gaming. By using the add button we can add any applications in the gaming mode. If you tap on the gear icon near the application we added in the game space, who gets the advanced option for that specific applications. Like to enable the default performance modes like standard, battery and performance. Angle graphics drivers are another toggle. We can use this instead of Vulkan or the OpenGL drivers but for now I will not test it because it's experimental. If we check the OpenGL drivers version using the hardware info application, it's showing the OpenGL version as the 3.2 at rate 50 and the Vulkan graphics version is 5.12.50. It's old but if you want to upgrade this to the latest one then please follow the video given under the video description. Now let's run the BGMI. While playing the game, who gets the constant game space overlay button at the right edge of the screen. Here you can quickly change the performance mode, can enable the screen FPS meter and can disable on screen gestures. I enabled the performance mode and kept the OnePlus Extra's FPS meter along with the game space FPS meter to check which is correct. In the game graphics setting, I selected the ultra for the game FPS. Let's start the game now. While playing the game all the time, game FPS remained at the 40 FPS or nearby it. Both the game space FPS meter and OnePlus extra setting FPS shown me the same FPS. So both are the genuine option to check the FPS in the games. In one word, I can say the gaming is absolutely stunning. I didn't fail. I am using the 6 year old device. Each tap has the quick touch response because of the good touch sampling of the firmware. While playing the game, you can enable the screen recording or can take the screenshot using the game space overlay setting. I didn't found any kind of lag during the whole the gameplay. Game ran smoothly. So if you are a gamer and in search of best gaming ROM, I can say you can consider this ROM as a gaming ROM. In the future, I will compare its gaming with the other ROMs, but still I didn't found any issues in the gaming performance of this ROM. So final question arises, what are the bugs? There are no any major bugs except the wide one security as L3. So you can't able to stream the Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. It's present in all the ROMs because of unlocked bootloader. Still I mentioned it because all the newcomers should know this. Next bug is also present in all the Android 13 basic custom ROMs. That is no blur effect for the media playback on the lost screen even if you enable the media cover art option in the superior lab setting. Except these minor bugs, nothing serious I found. This ROM is a gem of Android development for OnePlus 6 and 60 because of its amazing performance for day-to-day -day activities and while playing the games. It has lots of amazing customizations in the superior lab. It has good battery backup and the regular support by the great developers like Optimus Prime. So it's a perfect combination of all the things and can be considered as the number one ranking ROM in the non-retrofit custom ROM for the OnePlus 6 and 60. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.